pits, you know, I'm, I'm a, for 90 minutes I'm in the zone, I just want to win at whatever, at whatever cost of them. You know, but off the pits, you know, I, I'm, the, I'm the first one to have a laugh, to, you know, if you ask any any lads I've ever played with, they'll say, I met Don Hutchinson on a holiday really, first time I met him, it was in Marbella, we, we got on like a house on fire, great guy, so he enjoyed his company. Um, you know, I tend to stick with my own schoolmates, so, you know, I do, I'm not really one for, you know, having celebrity friends, I'm just more of my old schoolmates and that's why I get my best banter but you know in the dressing room I'm the life and soul and um, you know I'm just a normal guy you know I might have a nice car and a, and a nice house and a bit of book but I'm a normal down to earth guy who just who's just been privileged enough to be a footballer. I went to Brighton on loan for a month and you know some of the banter coming out of people's mouths is incredible you know um, when they've really not achieved much. And I used to say to him, listen mate, play 350 Premier League game, there must be shit. <laughs> what people don't realise is that when you're getting booed, it just makes you want to perform even better. And um, all throughout my career, you know, even in pre-season friendlies, when I was at Leicester or Birmingham, we'd play like Ebbsfleet United or, or Stevenage, I'd get hammered. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's unbelievable. I don't know if it's an honour, but it's it's something deep down I'm, I'm not proud of. But you know, when it, when the record goes, I'll be maybe a little dis bit disappointed. You know, there's times when referees could have given me a red, but I think they've looked at me and thought, you know, you know, do I really want to send them off? I think they would, of course. Like, listen, most of the referees would have loved to have sent me off, but you know, the one occasion I did get sent off was for handball, believe it or not. <laughs> I remember having a meeting with the referee, or when I was at Birmingham, I did have a meeting, um, I was assistant manager, um, found out off, or somebody off the assessor, or whoever it was, that you know the referees had a, had a, had a point to, you know, if they booked me early, it would calm me down, and that was even before the game kicked off, so, you know, it's incredible really. We love you, Robbie. Because you've got blonde hair, we love you Robbie. Because you're everywhere, we love you Robbie. Because you play for the blues. And it got quicker and quicker and quicker. And it was, it was brilliant, you know, there's 20, 30,000 people singing it. Um, chance against me, obviously. It's, you can name them, you know, all, all involved with swear words. Robbie Savage, what a wanker. <laughs> I'd say Steven Jedi just for his sheer athleticism, you know, he's incredible. And, you know, for me, the best I've ever played against. Well, probably the Endry um, when I was at Villa, um, when I was at We just always seemed to nail each other. And, um, you know, seen him out a few times, but really, we don't get on. Um, you know, never had a real proper conversation with him, but I just think there's something there because we always used to foul each other near each other on the pitch and I think, you know, I don't think, and I think he'd say the same thing really, I don't think we'd ever go for, out for a pint together. You know, I see a lot of similarities, with, obviously not with Brian Clough because I didn't know Brian Clough, but Martin O'Neill, and Martin O'Neill you know, obviously worked under Brian Clough um, and takes all his principles and morals probably from the great man himself. Um, you know, I see that in Nigel, what I see in Martin and um, it's just a privilege. I'd say that even if I wasn't in, in the derby team, you know, I'm just happy to be around the squad. Um, you know, he's given me the opportunity. I've hopefully, hopefully I've repaid him, and you know, he's got he's got a huge future in the game. He's at Man U. He's had um, Liverpool, Man City after him. Um, he's going to Crew on Monday. You know, because I wanted to see what I so Crew. He's going to Crew's Academy this Monday, believe it or not, for the first time. Um, he's at Man U on a Tuesday. But I've always said to him, if you don't want to do it, pal, as long as you're enjoying it, um, he'll make his own decisions in life. Why not? You know, it's I'm not as good looking as him, or as talented, but, you know, Jason might get to hear one, so I think <laughs> I'm a bit better looking than him. Simply the best, Tina Taylor. Not because I am simply the best, but I just know the words. So. Uh, 
face. <laughs> you get that? 